Hey, beautiful people. In this quick and dirty how-to, we're installing OBS NDI to kind of bypass the need for an HDMI capture card, but we will need Lib NDI 3 and OBS NDI. Let's grab them from the GitHub link in the description. Note, on Fedora, you'll need to symlink uh, USR Lib and the Lib64 or just copy the OBS NDI.so over. That'll work as well. Just a little bit of a pro tip there, save you a minute. But on Debian 10 or Ubuntu, it's going to work out of the box. And that's what we're using for the source computer. So I have OBS NDI and LibNDI 3. And we're going to install both of those with the dpackage. And I've done this on Debian 10 and Fedora 30. No problem. So we'll just do a dpackage. I install deb. And we should be done. All we have to do now is configure things in OBS. Let's launch this and everything work correctly under tools. We now have NDI output settings. Never couldn't get this to work over the network, but we can add filters. And I did get that to work. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm going to enable the preview so we'll see something. This is your standard window capture. You might be using this for a game. Um, for this example, I'm going to use Chrome. So I right click, I go to filters, and now we have dedicated NDI output. Probably want to name it something a bit more descriptive, but for this video, we'll stick with that. Now, audio, that's another thing. You can do multiple audio sources in the same way by adding the filter, but if it sees this audio, you're going to have dedicated NDI audio only. So for this, we'll be sending out video, one channel of video, and one channel of audio. Now, I'm just going to open Chrome, so we'll have something to show. Let's select the correct window. There we go. Okay, that should be going out over the network right now. And I should point both of these boxes are just connected with a Netgear router. And we're back on Fedora 30. And I've created a blank scene for the most part. And I'm going to add the NDI plugin. Now the naming, you see all the crazy text, that's because I'm using a Git build of uh, OBS. So that's not a problem with NDI. So I'm going to be selecting the dedicated NDI output that I just created. If we click OK, after a second, we will get our Chrome window. And again, that could be anything that you could normally capture on the remote computer. Latency is really good with this. It's not really discernible between this and the HDMI capture cards that we currently use. I think I will pull up an episode of Linux Gamecast Weekly show you. I mean, it's, you can play 1080p 60, 720p 60 video, no issues whatsoever, full screen it, and you'd never know. Same way with a game or VLC. Now, to bring the audio in, um, we're just going to add a new filter to the audio itself, and we're going to select audio only for our bandwidth. Then we just pull up the Jordan Audio, so the one I'm using there, going over the network. And that'll bring in audio from the satellite box. Now, you might be sending this out as a game or something like that to the streaming computer, getting rid of the need for HDMI encoders. But HDMI encoders, let's take a comparison. This is Talos Principle, just running the benchmark over our $60 HDMI USB 3 encoders that we use here at LGC. They work. They get the job done. And in just a moment, we will take a look at the NDI. NewTek sending this over the network. Um, the same computer. One's just going over HDMI. The other one is using NDI over the network. And it's taking about 15 megabytes a second. So... Not bad on the bandwidth. There they are head to head. HDMI is a little sharper, but hey, you know, if you don't have that 60 bucks to spend or if you have a gang of inputs you need captured, this is a way to do it. All right. 
Hey, if you like this video and stuff like it and like our shows and what we do, consider becoming a Patreon. You'll find a link to that down in the description. Join our Discord. Come say hi. And all that fun stuff. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.